Next, I want to demonstrate the clean open suctioning technique for a trachea ostomy patient. So here we have a pediatric patient that is trached with a 4.5 tracheostomy tube. It is a tube that is cuffless. All we want to do is help assist with uh, secretion clearance here. Because um, we have a 4.5 tracheostomy tube here, uh, and just like with your endotracheal tubes, you want to double the size of the endotracheal tube or the trach tube in order to select your catheter size for suctioning. Um, so with the 4.5, you can use either an 8 or a 10 French catheter to suction uh, this patient. So again, uh, just keep that in mind as a rule of thumb when selecting your catheter. I've removed the catheter from the packaging. I'm now in my hand. I'm going to close the tip of the tube and just wrap it. And again, keeping my hand, not touching anything and keeping the catheter clean. So I'm just going to unfold it out of my hand here. I then will have my partner give me some sterile water to lubricate it. And then I'm going to advance it through the trach. So advance that. If there's any resistance, give it a little bit of twist to help advance it forward. And then, then once you get to the point, apply suction and remove with a twisting motion five to ten seconds for that whole procedure flush your catheter again lube it up keep it clean in your hand just like so in case you have to do it again and that's it and then just make sure that you reassess your patient after each pass uh, next I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the trach arrow chamber and using it with your MDI therapy so here I have my MDI in my aero uh, trach for delivering MDI medication via a tracheostomy tube. I've already pre-primed and prepared my medication. I am going to insert it in the end of the aero chamber, just like the previous uh, styles of aero chamber. What you will notice here is the 15 mil connector that will then be able to attach to your tracheostomy tube here. Okay. So just go ahead and attach it to your patient, depress the medication to deliver a puff. Just like the mass aerial chambers allow five to six breaths, normal tidal breathing is fine to allow them to breathe in all that medication, just like so. When they are done, just hold down on the flange of the tracheostomy tube to ensure that you're not pulling it out. And again, shake your medication and prepare it for the next puff that needs to be delivered. You will do that for every puff that has been prescribed.